what's going on everybody how you doing today before I get into today's video I want to give a big shout out to Northern Ontario this is southern northern Ontario I'm here with some friends doing some filming and uh, taking a day just to kind of chill back here in Canada beautiful great white north which is really hot <laughs> Elizabeth Solomon this intro is for you Thank you so much for donating to me on Patreon. It means so much to me. You went above and beyond with your donation. It was so generous. You said you've only been watching my videos for a couple of months and you never commented before until today. And uh, it just means a, a lot to me. I was so touched by what you wrote. And I promise to bring you more videos exactly like the ones that you like because I got more coming. And I'm hoping I get to be able to do more. So Elizabeth, thank you so much. You are now a loyal, true subscriber, true viewer, and it means so much to me. All right, today's video, let's go. First, let me show you this lake. So now, yeah. This is Four Mile Lake, up in the Kawartha areas of uh, Ontario. How beautiful. And all these boats will one day belong to all of us. But as of now, I've just got the red shoes and some friends dancing very strangely in the background. <laughs> Today's video coming right now. Get down here, girl! How's everybody doing today? So here I am in Dearborn Heights, just south of uh, Detroit, like five minutes. So it's a suburb of Detroit, and I'm at Northview Cemetery. And there's no office here. It's just like a roundabout. You just drive around once and that's it. And it's pretty tiny, but there's a lot of, a lot of graves here. And there's no information online or anywhere. I called the office about where George Papar's grave is. That's what I'm looking for. So I gotta wander around this slightly small but really full cemetery. This could take a while. If you're with me, some people have come along with me on these before and then done this with me. You can see this. Sometimes it takes a long time, sometimes it takes no time at all. This is gonna be difficult. I'm gonna drive, probably drive around in my car and see if I can see something. Because I know what the gravestone looks like, so I know it's above ground one. So that makes it a little easier, but not necessarily that easy. Are you a fan of George Pappard? I think George Pappard has fans from a couple of different generations. I would, I would say because of his breakthrough role as Paul in Breakfast at Tiffany's, He's got the, uh, that generation of fans. I, I hate to, uh, I hate to bother you, but if I could ask one more favor, could I use the phone? Then for 80s kids like me, he was Hannibal in the A-Team. And that's the only way I knew who he was back, back in the day, we'll call it. <laughs> What's it say? Well, it says, I love it when a plan comes together. And then I, then as I got older, I realized, you know, I knew more about who he was and his career. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about him. He had a, quite an interesting life. But let's uh, try and find his grave first. He's going up and down these hills. But I think in one of the pictures I saw, there was a fence in the very background. So it wouldn't be on one of these hills now that I'm thinking about it. 
So it's got to be facing... There must be a fence in the background. Sometimes I wonder why I... But I like to pay my respects, and I like to bring you along with me to pay your respects if, it's, if you're a fan. See, now there's a fence down there, but I drove along that street, well, that road, and didn't see it. This is that one right there, sticking out that way. No, no, I looked as I was coming in. I was looking, driving pretty slow. All right, I'll get back to you. Yeah, still looking, so it's difficult. Uh, Joseph Papard was born in Detroit and went to Dearborn High School, which I imagine would be somewhere close by here. And then he went to Carnegie Mellon, Carnegie Mellon University and then he enrolled in the Actors Studio. But then he went in the Navy. And he was, uh, from what I've read, he was a decorated soldier. But as soon as he was able to leave the military, he left because he wanted to go back to his acting career that he had already started. He started getting roles really fast, and he played a lot of army roles. He's becoming known for that. But like I said, then he had a breakthrough role as Paul in Breakfast at Tiffany's with Audrey Hepburn, a movie that I've never seen. I see his grave right now. Oh, there it is right there. Oh, you just witnessed that in real time. That's so weird. I looked, I looked up, and there it is. That's so bizarre. Yeah, 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 that's it. Um, let's go over and take a look. Uh, yeah, I was talking to Amy from Detroit, Amy from the D, who suggested I come here because I was I almost forgot about it. And she said, "You ever seen Breakfast at Tiffany?" She was yelling at me. And no, I never have seen it, but I'm going to watch it. I think. I know the general gist. I've been to the, some of the filming locations from her before, but I never saw the movie. And that usually that's rare. I don't go to filming locations unless I've seen the movie. But yeah, he was Hannibal in the A-Team. Mr. T, Dirk Benedict, I love that show. Ran from like 83 to 86. It was only on like three or four years. It wasn't on a long time, but A-Team made a huge impact. Maybe you can contact the A-Team. Or maybe you can call the A-Team. Here's George Papard. So his wife is still alive, 1958 to still alive. He died in 1994. He died of pneumonia brought on by complications from lung cancer. He was a heavy smoker for a lot of his life and he was a very heavy drinker. He was a, he was a self admitted alcoholic. And one of his famous quotes that he had about himself was, I'm no fan of George Papard. But he helped a lot of people with alcoholism. That was one thing that he was known for. Once he kicked the habit, he became quite... Uh, Outspoken and helping the people to, to get that monkey off their back. So I'm assuming George Builder, Vernell Singer, those would be his parents. Yeah, here it is, George Papard. If you're ever in uh, Detroit and Dearborn, you want to come see uh, George Papard's grave, just come to Northeast Cemetery, which uh, is on Kensington Avenue, Kensington Street. You'll find it's at the end of the street and then go right into the cemetery make a right and come along this street this road there's only one you can only go two ways go to your right come right along this road past that big tree come right here stop here when you see tut dit burner this whole plant thing that's really cool then george papard i think you stop and see this tree right here and george papard is right here so it's not too hard to find once you know where it is. Right off the road. And there's that little tiny, well not tiny, but there's that fence in the background that I can see a little tiny bit of, so I knew there was a fence. Always follow your instincts. It's very true. Hmm. And you see this sad gravestone behind a little girl who died at 12. I'll lend you for a little time. 
a child of mine. Uh, it breaks my heart. Wow. Uh, 1974. Jeez. Only 12 years old, not even 11 years old. You know, you come out to do a video about a celebrity grave and then, I mean, celebrity graves are mixed in with people who re led regular lives and went about their daily business and family lost a little girl at 11 years old. I can't imagine anything harder than that. I'll lend you for a little time a child of mine. They only had her for 11 years. Connie. Rest in peace, Connie. Wow, that's just, ah, uh, uh, so George, uh, that just gets, I, I, um, just to think about it, 11 years old. You're just getting on into the cusp of becoming someone, a person and at that age and Becoming your own person and, and your life's taken from you and taken from your family. Okay, well. Um, remind me sometime to tell you a story about when I went to Johnny Cash's grave, another grave that I saw there that affected me profoundly. And uh, these videos aren't about me, they're about the people, but I want to tell you about that girl's life that in Tennessee. And I'll, say, I'll do tell a story in a live chat sometime so everybody can hear it. It's quite uh, sad and, and it's, it was bizarre how I ended up at this grave in Tennessee last year, right near Johnny Cash. I've told this story to a few people and they're all just like, wow, that's crazy. Yeah, so yeah, this is about George Papard and, and Constance now. Some people say that I start talking about myself or something, but I'm not. I'm talking about these people and how it affects me and I'm sorry if that's uh, something you don't want to see. George Papard, the A-Team, breakfast at Tiffany's. Right here, there he is. All right, so I hope you have a great day. Hope everything's going well for you. Hope you and your family are safe, happy, warm, and in good spirits. Peace. Rest in peace, George Rippard. Rest in peace, Connie. Peace out. So this here, this is a place called Burnt River, Ontario. A place where I used to come as a kid. Uh, it's about two hours from Toronto. Not to end the video on a sad note, but I just want to give a big shout out to a friend of mine, a co-worker, somebody who I had plans to work with here on the channel. And uh, just got the news today that he took his own life. And uh, myself and my friends that are here with me now today, are up here kind of just thinking about it and thinking about him and we were just all with him last night and woke up this morning came up here and got the news so 
Soren, just getting to know you and just getting to really, uh, just getting to know you, man, and you were awesome. And I can't believe it's been like less than 12 hours since I saw you and now you're gone. Take care of your loved ones and listen. Try to do your best to um, ask questions. If you can get an answer. Soren, I love you, brother. Peace out.